Good morning, guys. Welcome to social studies class. This is summary number one. Don't forget to divide your notebook with the third partial, please, before you copy. The earliest Americans. That's the topic. What important event happened in 1942? In 1492, sorry. Do you know what happened in this year? 1492? Christopher Columbus wants to, yeah. to, to describe America. Christopher Columbus discovered America, or at least he was the first uh, man that history recorded came to America, okay? In October, copy the information inside the boxes. In October 1492, Christopher Columbus and his crew were on the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Looking yes. for a water route. Yeah? But, but in 1492, uh -huh. is, is Christopher Columbus is where in, in what did you say, in America or another? He America? landed. He landed in here in America. America. He landed here in America. But, but is is in in this año fourteen ninety two exists? Of course, of course, exists existed before. Copy, please. Miss, the year of four 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 hundred ninety two is old. That year. Yeah, fourteen ninety two. Okay, so in October, in October 1492, Christopher Columbus and his crew were on the Atlantic Ocean looking for a water route to East Asia. Um, this topic is, uh, you have studied in, so, in Estudios Sociales, and you know that Christopher Columbus was actually looking for a route, a water route to arrive or to uh, land in India. Not in America. Uh, Christopher Columbus had, had no idea that America existed. He has no idea. So he was looking for a water route, but he wanted to reach India. See, India is in the East Asia. But three, mon three months ago after they left Spain, so imagine being in the ocean for three months, everyone on the ships believes Columbus was lost. Yeah, I could think that also. After being in the water for three months, definitely I would think he's crazy or he is lost because we are nowhere. But suddenly one of his teammates, Santiago de Triana, screamed, land, land. He saw land, so he started screaming. Unknowing, Spanish explorers discovered America. They didn't know he did, they discovered a new continent, a new world for them, but home to many people. America was not empty. That's what it says. It was a new world for them, for Spanish explorers, but America was home to many people, the Native Americans that already lived there. Diego, did you finish copying? Who is copying? Well, Diego, Adriana, Adriana. okay, Ivana. So that was happened. And big. And big. Let's see if I can make a representation. So America was here. Europe was here in Asia here, okay? So, Christopher Columbus sailed Me? from here. Uh -huh. I remember that the, the ship that Christopher Columbus used. La Niña, La, la Pinta, and the Santa Maria. In La Santa Maria. Uh -huh. So India was here. So Christopher Columbus 
think. India is there. So I need a ship and I am going to cross the ocean and I will reach India. Miss Bot, I have a question. Wait, but there was a little, a little problem between India and Europe, America was located. So he was trying to cross the ocean and what, what he found was America. But at the beginning, he thought this is India. That's why we were called Indios because Christopher Columbus thought he was in India. Of course, if you are, if you came to Honduras, we are Hondureños, right? Honduras, Hondureños. So he yeah. thought that was India. So yeah. he, Christopher Columbus called us Indios. That's why, the ahí viene. It is, what was your question? But Christopher Columbus. Christopher, like, like Columbus. your classmate, Christopher. Yeah, Christopher Columbus, he speak in what, what speak? Spanish. In Spanish, and he go to the, uh, he, nació in. He in, was born in Italy, but in, he moved to Spain. Yeah, he was born in Italy, but he moved to Spain. Yeah, and, but Italy is another, and not other idioma. Uh, well, I don't know if he speaks another, another language, but the nationality, his nationality was, was Italian because he was born in Italia, in Italy. But then he moved to Spain. He moved to Spain. Of course, he speaks Spanish. In America, I think it's Spanish, but, but I don't know if it's Spanish or English, but I think it's in Spanish. It depends. It depends. Okay, don't copy this one because this one is a lot. So just listen. It says, when Columbus landed in America, he thought he had reached a group of islands between Asia and Australia. Those islands were known as the East Indies. Columbus therefore called the first North, North Americans, he saw Indians. The first people he saw here in America, he called them Indians. Today, we refer to these people and their descendants as Native Americans or American Indians. How did Native Americans ancestors come to this land? Well, early, early Americans came to this part of the world from other places. Scientists differed about when they came and where they came from. Some scientists think that the first Americans came from Asia. They might have come when much of the Northern hemisphere was covered with ice, okay? This, this is talking about the ice age. That's how, and you saw it in the video. One, uh, one theory, the first one says, some scientists think they might have walked across the Bering Strait during the ice age on land that then connected what we know, what, what we now know as Siberia in Alaska. The second, okay, this is how they think they moved here, here through the Bering Strait from Asia to America. The second one, other scientists think that the first Americans sailed from Northern Asia. See, this is Asia. So they sail using canoes, okay, sail. The first one was walking. The second one was by Coffee. water, by water. Coffee. No, because you don't have time. And the third one, all the things that the first Americans sailed from South Pacific Islands or Australia. These one are theories about how the first Americans came. See, from Australia, south here, South Pacific Island, and they moved from these islands to America. That's what they think it happened. However, they got here and whenever they came, people were living in North America over 11,000 years ago. 11,000 years ago. And Christopher Columbus arrived here in 1492. 1492, 
Okay, so people were was here for thousands of years before Christopher Columbus landed. Over time, they developed rich and, var and varied cultures. Their cultures were shaped in part by the geography of the areas they settled. These early people became the hundreds of different Native American groups that occupied North America by the 14th, by the 14th. So when Christopher Columbus arrived here, he was not the first one. He didn't discover. Okay, let's say that he, he discovered the land, but our land, America, already had people thousands of years ago. Unfortunately, Spanish conquerors were violent and they went here um, to get our land, to get our riches, unfortunately. Okay, and that's why we speak Spanish. Why do you think we speak Spanish? Native Americans before didn't speak Spanish. We speak, we speak Spanish because the because the Cliff Columbus learned learn to the to the people that live in Honduras Spanish. Exactly. He teaches. Spanish explorers teaches us Spanish. What else did, did they teach us? They brought they brought the language, the religion. Do you remember Mayan, Mayas and Aztecas and Aztecs? Yeah. Mayas, they, uh, Ma Mayas were polytheist. Ellos creían en varios dioses. Aha, uh -huh. but the Catholic, Catholic religion believed just in one. The, the Mayas exist todavía, or no? Uh, there are descendants, descendants, but they disappeared from Copan, Copan Ruinas. Okay, the city was abandoned. When Christopher Columbus arrived, Mayas were not there. Ya tenían un par de cientos de años de haber dejado la ciudad. And um, where, then where, where did the Mayas go? Um, well, I guess they, they could move north to the north or could move to the left, to the uh, south. Because the... In what age the Mayas exist? Why or where? No, where, where año exist? In what year? Oh, what year? well, I was there and some of them, um, the, some of the, los, los gobernantes uh, from Maya, the Mayas, Um, talks about 752 años. El año what? 752. It's a lot, right? No, but el año 752. We are in 2022. En el 2022. But Mayas existed, um, the first one probably uh, existed after, después del año cero. Because of course, si nosotros, todo comienza por el principio, va a la redundancia. So, existió ese año cero. Existió ese año, ese año cero, después el uno, año dos, año tres. ¿Y de dónde partimos en este cero? Con el nacimiento de Jesús, aquí. Nace Jesús, ese es el inicio de todo. Y de aquí partimos. Año 1, por eso dice, en el año 52, después, después de Cristo. ¿Después qué? Después de que Él nació. But, is, but I have a question. Is Jesús exist? Existe. 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 No, mire, el día que usted nace, ¿cuánto, qué, ¿cuál es su edad? Ese es su primer día, eso es cero días. Cero. El día que usted nace, cero. Ya el día siguiente usted tiene un día de nacido. Después dos, después tres. Entonces, por eso la historia habla de 
tantos años después de Cristo, porque el, el inicio se marca con el nacimiento de Jesús, pero también existen antes de Cristo. Entonces está el, el año 1 antes de Cristo, el año 2 antes de Cristo, el año 3 antes de Cristo, y así sucesivamente. Existen esos años. Antes de que él naciera, existen. Si no, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo eh, los Native Americans tenían 11.000 años de estar aquí? Y vamos por el año 2000. ¿Por qué? Porque los otros 9.000 años están antes de Cristo. Estamos del 0, 2000 en adelante, pero del 0 para atrás hay 9.000 más. Así funciona la historia, así funciona el tiempo. Ok, guys. We finish here. See you in the next class. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.